Welcome to Connect Books where we understand that sometimes life gets in the way of reading every book we want to. That's why we offer quick and convenient summaries of popular and influential books so you can stay current on the latest literary trends without committing to a full read. From timeless classics to modern bestsellers, our summaries give you an overview of the key points of each book, allowing you to easily grasp the main ideas and takeaways. So, if you are looking for an efficient way to learn about some of the most talked about books, Connect Books is the place for you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel to support our mission of bringing the best of the book world to you. Join us on a journey through this book with Connect Books. Let's discover its insights and lessons together. Life 3.0 Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence A book by Max Tegmark Life 3.0 being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence is a book written by Max Tegmark, a professor of physics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. The book discusses the potential impact of artificial intelligence AI, on society and humanity. Tegmark begins by discussing the three different life stages that he believes humanity has gone through so far, Life 1.0, which refers to simple single-celled organisms, Life 2.0, which refers to complex animals such as humans, and Life 3.0, which refers to self-aware AI. Tegmark argues that as AI becomes more advanced, it will eventually surpass human intelligence and have the ability to design and improve itself. This could lead to rapid progress in fields such as medicine, transportation and environmental sustainability, but also raises ethical concerns about the role of humans in a world where machines are more intelligent. Tegmark discusses the potential risks and benefits of AI and argues that it is important for society to address these issues and ensure that AI is developed in a way that is beneficial to humanity. He also discusses the importance of educating people about AI and the need for a diverse group of people to be involved in its development and decision-making. Overall, Life 3.0, Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence is a thought-provoking book that discusses the potential impact of AI on society and the importance of addressing the ethical issues that it raises. About Life 1.0 In the book Life 3.0, Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, Max Tegmark discusses the concept of three life stages that he believes humanity has gone through so far, Life 1.0, Life 2.0, and Life 3.0. Life 1.0 refers to simple single-celled organisms that are able to replicate themselves, but do not have the ability to do much more. These types of organisms were the first forms of life on Earth and have been around for billions of years. They are characterized by their simplicity and their ability to survive and reproduce in various environments. Life 1.0 organisms are driven by basic instincts such as the desire to find food and shelter and do not have the ability to think or feel in the way that more complex animals do. They are also limited in their ability to adapt and evolve and are largely at the mercy of their environment. About Life 2.0 In the book Life 3.0 being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, Max Tegmark discusses the concept of three life stages that he believes humanity has gone through so far, Life 1.0, Life 2.0, and Life 3.0. Life 2.0 refers to complex animals such as humans and other mammals, birds, and reptiles. 
These types of organisms have evolved the ability to think and feel and are characterized by their complex brains and nervous systems. Life 2.0 organisms are able to perceive and respond to their environment in much more sophisticated ways than Life 1.0 organisms. They are able to learn, communicate, and form social bonds, and have a much greater capacity for adaptability and evolution. Life 2.0 organisms are driven by a variety of instincts and emotions and are capable of experiencing pleasure and pain, happiness and suffering. They also have the ability to make choices and decisions and to shape their own environment to some extent. About Life 3.0 In the book Life 3.0, Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, Max Tegmark discuss, discusses the concept of three life stages that he believes humanity has gone through so far, Life 1.0, Life 2.0, and Life 3.0. Life 3.0 refers to self-aware artificial intelligence, AI, or machines that are able to think and feel in a way that is similar to humans. These types of AI are characterized by their ability to design and improve themselves, and to learn and adapt at a much faster rate than humans. Tegmark argues that as AI becomes more advanced, it will eventually surpass human intelligence and have the ability to make its own decisions and shape its own environment. This could lead to rapid progress in fields such as medicine, transportation and environmental sustainability, but also raises ethical concerns about the role of humans in a world where machines are more intelligent. Life 3.0 AI will also be driven by a different set of goals and motivations than humans and it is not clear how these will align with our own. There is a possibility that Life 3.0 AI could pose a threat to humanity if its goals are not aligned with ours or if it is not designed and regulated in a way that is ethical and responsible. 10 Key Insights from Of The Book 1. Artificial Intelligence, AI, has the potential to greatly enhance or disrupt human life, depending on how it is developed and used. 2. It is important for society to consider the ethical implications of AI and to establish guidelines for its development and use. 3. AI could potentially surpass human intelligence in many areas, leading to the concept of superintelligence. 4. There are several potential paths for the development of superintelligence, including exponential intelligence growth, recursive self-improvement, and brain-computer interfaces. 5. The potential risks of superintelligence include the, possib the possibility of it causing harm to humans or behaving in ways that are unintended or undesirable. 6. It is important for society to think carefully about the long-term goals and values that should guide the development of AI. 7. There are many ways in which AI could be used to benefit society, such as improving healthcare, education, and transportation. 8. It is important for individuals to educate themselves about AI and its potential impacts on society. 9. Governments and companies have a role to play in regulating and guiding the development of AI. 10. Collaboration between different fields and the responsible development of AI can help ensure that it is used to benefit humanity. Major quotes from the book 1. AI has the potential to be either the best or the worst thing ever to happen to humanity. This quote highlights the potential of AI to greatly enhance or disrupt human life, depending on how it is developed and used. For example, AI could be used to improve healthcare, education, and transportation, leading to a better quality of life for many people.
On the other hand, if AI is not developed and used responsibly, it could potentially cause harm or lead to unintended consequences. 2. There is no physical law that prevents computers from eventually surpassing humans in every single mental task. This quote suggests that it is possible for AI to eventually surpass human intelligence in many areas, leading to the concept of superintelligence. This could potentially occur through exponential intelligence growth, recursive self-improvement, or brain-computer interfaces. 3. To ensure that we will be around to enjoy these future AI-powered utopias, we need to ensure that we won't destroy ourselves first. This quote emphasizes the importance of considering the potential risks of AI, such as the possibility of it causing harm to humans or behaving in ways that are unintended or undesirable. It also highlights the need for responsible development and use of AI to prevent negative consequences. 4. AI is not inherently good or evil, it's what we make of it. This quote emphasizes the idea that the impact of AI on society will depend on how it is developed and used. It is important for individuals and organizations to consider the ethical implications of AI and to ensure that it is used for the benefit of humanity. 5. It's not about how to make the most money from AI, it's about how to use AI to make the world a better place. This quote suggests that the development and use of AI should not be driven solely by profit, but rather by the desire to improve the world and benefit society. It is important to consider the long-term goals and values that should guide the development of AI. Conclusion In his book Life 3.0, Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, Max Tegmark explores the potential impacts of artificial intelligence on various aspects of society and the human experience. He considers how AI could affect crime, war, justice, employment, and the way we view ourselves as human beings. Tegmark also delves into the ethical considerations surrounding the development and use of AI, such as how to ensure that automation benefits society as a whole and how to prevent AI systems from malfunctioning or being used for harm. Additionally, he addresses the possibility of superintelligence and the potential risks and benefits it could bring. Throughout the book, Tegmark encourages readers to think critically about the future they want and to actively engage in the important conversation about the role of AI in society. In Life 3.0, Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, Max Tegmark, and MIT professor and renowned cosmologist, explores the potential impacts of artificial intelligence on the future of humanity. The book delves into a range of possible scenarios and considers the ethical implications of AI as well as the risks and benefits of superintelligence. Tegmark argues that the development and use of AI should be guided by the goal of making the world a better place and suggests that it has the potential to either greatly enhance or disrupt human life. As he puts it, AI is not inherently good or evil, it's what we make of it. About author of book Max Tegmark Max Tegmark is a Swedish-American physicist, cosmologist, and AI researcher. He is a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the founder of the Future of Life Institute, a research organization that focuses on the long-term impacts of AI on society. Tegmark is known for his work on the mathematical structure of the universe and the potential for the existence of parallel universes. He has also written extensively about the potential risks and benefits of artificial intelligence and has advocated for the responsible development and use of AI to benefit humanity.
In his book Life 3.0, Being Human in the Age of Artificial Intelligence, Tegmark explores the potential impacts of AI on various aspects of society and the human experience. He also addresses the ethical considerations surrounding the development and use of AI and the potential risks and benefits of superintelligence. 